So at first I thought it was just a one week hiatus, but apparently there's a three week break after this episode. So I just have to soak this in for all it has. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster. I should be. I'm watching episode 29 of a Jujutsu Kaisen called Premature Death. Uh, I thought this was going to be called Hidden Inventory 5 because I think this is the final episode of the sort of prequel arc. And then whenever we come back again in three weeks, it'll be the start of wh like where we were in season one, the, that, that timeline. I have a lot of questions that I hope are sort of answered in this episode concerning i guess gojo and geto's relationship because we still don't really know how they end up at odds exactly but they're both kind of stunned and sort of scarred from the death of amani and everything that went on from from toji have a fat like on this one and let's get started oh a little little time hop this may help clear things up so they're just throwing stuff at him? His power spiking. As if he hadn't already in this fight with Toji. I don't even want every reason I'm thinking about it. Or barely thinking about it. He's like a machine, man. He just can't be healthy, dude. Yet that does not look great. He's overworked, overstressed. God, this sounds a summer. The, 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 the locusts and all that. That's what he said at the beginning of the season. Ah, we're starting to see his mental crack a little bit. There's all of them clapping at the end of the last episode that really like I set it in motion. Them happy that the Monai died. So what happened with Tengen? No, did nobody assimilate? The clapping. I think he just snapped. I still don't know who this guy is in the Hybera in the current timeline. He was like he's like with Nanami. I don't think Nanami. But now he's like technically retired, no? Oh, look how tired he looks! This guy is so nice! <laughs> what if he wanted his perspective since he has such a bubbly, bright attitude? Uh. <laughs> Hi, bro. <laughs> Aww. Okay, good. I, I should be confused. Sukuma. Okay, so she is like... <laughs> she's not a teacher. She's just a sorcerer. Oh, wait. Oh, hang on. The seed is being planted. How can you just eliminate them? Eliminate cursed injuries. That means anybody that even remotely has. Mm. Two is not possible. I mean, what is possible with just a lot of killing? Mm. So Toji was like one in a million. Or was it because of the heavenly pact that he was able to? You just get all of humanity to be able to. All of humanity were jujutsu sorcerers. That sounds like such a pipe dream, though. Killing all north. Oh my gosh! Is, I guess that the seed is planted! The easiest way! Oh my gosh. Oh, force him out of the nest. <laughs> I'm not crazy enough. Who would be crazy enough to do that? <laughs> Does she know he is? Is that why she's saying this? Does she know he's like on the brink of snapping that he could flip over? The value of non-sorcerers. All those people that had a Monai killed because they believed in Tengen not assimilating. Where did she come from to plant this in his head, though? I wonder where she is now. She literally set him on this path, inherently. I mean, he might have gotten there eventually, but... That was what I was asking. Another sort of... Uh, oh, so a Monai died for nothing. Basically. First grade case. 
Oh my god! It was a first grade case, and they just sent him alone. It makes so much more sense why I had no idea who he was, at least. Mountain of our comrades' courses until there's none of them left. It's us or them. That's the mentality. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, the lines are starting to connect. The mysterious powers. He's going to kill everybody but them. And he chose a path. Oh my goodness. Brother. Oh, the button's falling off. 112 residents killed. Oh my god. Geto was sentenced to death. Holy man. He burned that bridge as hard as possible. And what, they sent Gojo out after him? Oh my gosh. And apparently it wasn't about like why he did it. It was like mostly like what led up to him forming this uh, mindset. He just... Met her in public? So what happens to uh, get him the scar on his head? Is he just gonna kill everybody here? Now? Oh. No! Ugh! Oh shoot. His parents were the first to show that he's serious about it, yeah. He said there is a point. Is somebody else here in this conversation? Just massacring like all like most of civilization. Like what person of people are sorcerers? Yeah, what stopped Gojo from just stopping him right here? Just because he knew him so well. He couldn't believe he'd go down this path. I mean, he's a big, much bigger problem now. I'm sure he regrets not. <laughs> oh, wait, this is back to a different group. They bought the existing space? He's in his fit now! This current fit! And those are two little girls he saved. Man, is this where like, he started like sort of his cult? His following? But he just took over. Many objected. Yeah, you die! Oh my goodness! Jeez, man. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, their relationship now is even crazier. He's just standing there. Four to six. Mm. He knew exactly. I mean, he told Gojo what would happen, especially after he died. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does, does Megami not even know today what happened? Got the general idea. So he does know. Okay. He just doesn't care. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> God dang, dude. October 9, 2018. Wait, where, where did we start? Are we back? Are we back to the present? We're back, baby! <laughs> Man, now we know quite a bit more. He's dreaming about it. It's crazy how in these five episodes, it's added it's like an infinite amount, pun intended, of like emotional weight to everything now, especially with Gojo's character. But like now I, I, I really, I think the next couple episodes of recap, I'm going to really ingest them and, and digest them because I feel like re-watching through Jujutsu Kaisen with this perspective, knowing what happened with Geto is so important and JJK Zero alongside it because now we have a much better understanding of Geto's worldview and why he's 
out to kill anybody that isn't a sorcerer and sort of the dynamic between him and gojo and how it founded but yeah now i'm starting to like think back if there were any uh interactions in season one especially with megami and gojo that sort of hinted at what did happen but guys that's it for I, I guess for a couple of weeks until we we do come back i won't be doing any reactions to the recap episodes unless they have like a ton of new content but again i will be watching them to kind of get myself back together for the rest of the season because it's going to be a long season so i hope you guys are ready guys that's been it for my reaction drop a fat like if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one peace peace